Inside Edition is wild, dude. They do the wildest fucking gotcha interviews. It's great. Why do you think well, that? No, no, listen to me just singing. Of course. Not the people. The main reason is because of the need. If, if I flew commercial, I'd have to stop 65% of what I'm doing. That's really the main. Isn't it true that you want to fly commercial so that you can fly in luxury? How much money did you pay for Tyler Perry's Gulfstream jet, for example? Well, for example, that's really none of your business, but... Isn't it the business of your donors? Listen, I paid. <laughs> Such a fucking demon, dude. Such a fucking demon. How does he not have an answer for this, dude? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, oh, I... Like, honestly, you guys know this. I, I uh, fucking once uh, flew in a private jet in that famous fucking uh, David Dobrik video because the Shorties Award, like, flew me out to do a fucking award ceremony. And if someone was like, someone was like, I can't believe you were in a private jet. How dare you? I'd be like, fuck off, dude. Yeah, of course I was in a private jet. You, really? You're going to fucking pass up an opportunity to be in a fucking private jet, dude? I mean, he should feel bad for owning one. That's nuts, okay? That's literally nuts. But, but like, you know. How the fuck does he not have, like, a like an actual argument? Like, he, he hasn't even thought about it, you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, of course I'm going to have this. Of course I'm going to have a... Like, just turn around. Just turn around and just be like, yeah, I bought it because I fly around. People need me. People absolutely need me. I need to exercise demons all around the country. You also didn't take Christian seed money to buy it and use it as a tax write-off? Yeah, exactly. There's a fucking a million different reasons why that's uh, dog shit, but... You kind of caught me off guard here, okay? Certainly. Well, if you'd like to come out here, I'd like to give you a chance to, to oh. catch your breath and, and have oh, a conversation. So we don't want to, we don't want to catch it off guard. I love Inside Edition. You got to get this now. <laughs> hey, you listen to me? My, my wife thinks Inside Edition is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, thank you, Lord. Help me. Just let me, let me pray. Just well, let me, let me just ask you a really simple question. A lot of people think it's unbecoming for a preacher to live a life of luxury and to fly around in private jets. What's your response to that? Very simple. It takes a lot of money to do what we do. Thanks to Ed Shea Born again for my We subject. have brought over 100, let's see. This, the latest figure just came out. Uh, 122 million people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me give you another example. Last May, I was scheduled for Lagos, Nigeria. That's a long ways. I had a week off, and I was scheduled for Peru. And I prayed about it, and I thought, I'm not missing that dedication in Jerusalem. Without the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry, and I didn't pay anywhere. And Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made, it, he made that airplane so cheap for me, I couldn't help but buy it. Well, my question then, what, 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 okay. Come on, what are you going to do? Not buy an airplane that's so cheap? It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Of course. Of course I'm going to buy that airplane. It was so god dang cheap. Okay? Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. I love your eyes. And uh, here's what happened. We flew in 21 days. 10 months worth. He reminds me of the 70 hours, when they roam Earth, but for Santa 40, miles, touched five continents, and preached face to face personally with 125,000 people. Do you ever do you ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay. Again, getting back to the comment. Dude, vacation homes, dude. 
You said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you explain what you meant by that? Dude, he's literally a demon. Like, how are people not seeing this, dude? He is the cartoonish depiction of a demon, okay? It does not make sense. He makes it so easy for even dumbass to be like, yeah, that guy's not all right. You know what I mean? Like, every part of his vibes is fucked, dude. This is, this is a designated Hasanabi fucked vibes moment, okay? Straight to jail. The vibe check came back. Seven Röntgen, okay? I'm telling you, dude. The vibes are off the fucking charts. They are super mega fucked. That, yes. that, by that term then. Yes. Just, just explain. Critical it's really failure. Simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? Thread for the, your response. It's well, already fucking threaded. 71 think comments that people already? that fly commercial are demons. If you give me a chance to talk, sweetheart, I'll explain this to you. But it's a biblical thing. It's a spiritual thing. It doesn't have anything to do with people. People. I love people. Jesus loves Can you please talk about the multiple direct actions happening, happening around the country as well as the M4A protests that happen around 40 cities? You don't want me talking about those Medicare for all protests, brother, because from what I saw, those Medicare all protests, uh, there was a lot of kooks in that, uh, in, the, in those uh, protests. Some speakers unironically not even believing in Medicare for all and advocating against it because they think it's like it should be decentralized in, in its entirety or some shit. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll keep going. Let's well, keep going with this. But people get pushed in alcohol do you think that's a good place for a preacher to be and prepare to go preach to a lot of people when somebody in there is dragging some woman down an aisle it made me so mad to see that on television i wanted to punch the guy out myself i can't be doing that while i'm getting ready to preach yeah he he saw he saw injustices happening so you know he did the christian thing which is turn the other cheek that's how it works that's that's what jesus did Okay, when he saw lepers, when Jesus saw lepers walking down the street, being subjugated, being pushed away from civilized folks, society, what did Jesus do? He said, I'm going to look the other way. That's what Jesus did. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to look the other way. I'm Jesus after all. I turned my goddamn cheek to the lepers. And when they forced him and they said, Amen. Amen. God Almighty. When they said, Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior. Why don't you heal those lepers? He said, sorry. Your condition is not covered by Jesus care. Unfortunately, you are not going to be able to work with me today. You have only a PPO and not an HMO. Amen. But them goddamn lepers, they should have gotten an HMO. If they wanted Jesus care, it's supply side Jesus after all. Amen. Hallelujah, brother. Woo! Um, and so you just don't like to be around the sinful people or the, the hurtful people. Not Is that what people. you're saying? Not the people, baby. Not the people. Back during the days, that we couldn't do anything else. We had to travel commercial. I've when I went to Oral Roberts University, I flew for Oral Roberts. I'm a commercial pilot. So I spent a lot of time in there. You have how many planes? We have the Gulf Stream, and we still have our Citation team. And then we have a little small airplane, but, but those are the two ones that we use. And we, we got smaller ones too, you know? When I want to whip it. When I want to do a whip ski on my smaller plane that only houses 13 people, 13 folks, disciples, I might add. Just like Jesus did. Hallelujah. We use them all the time. And other people use them too. We have other ministries that, that use these. In the book of Ephesians, oh God, I love this. We wrestle not with people, but with principalities powers unseen things 
rulers of the darkness of this world. Talking about the devil, he's a very real devil, just the same as Jesus is a very real Lord. And and I spent a lot Happy of time on the same. Glad to be a part of this amazing community. But the As main thing that happened was not that wasn't the main reason. The main reason was I could no longer do what I called to do. At least go eight months and be on the airline. Besides that, I need my clothes when I get there. And, so, and you have some fancy clothes. I mean, I for a pastor, you are living yes. a life of luxury. Yes, you've am. got great homes. You've got yes, great planes. Do. You do you drive in limos. I'm a and very wealthy man. You're a very wealthy man. Yes. Yeah. And some and people I would might, say I that is it something. is it appreciate. May, may I add something to that? Uh, I, I, my wealth doesn't come from offerings alone. Because you I sell things, books and books. DVDs. Yes. And I have a lot of natural gas on our property. Didn't know that, did you, babe? Now I do. Yeah, you do. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I guess. It's wonderful for you. Back when, and I might add another thing. Wait, so his, like, tax-exempt property that he bought with his fucking uh, churchgoer donors and tithing or whatever the fuck is now allowing him to, to sit on, like, robust natural resources dude that's crazy man that's like it's really fucked up dude this is so how the fuck do we not tax churches i i don't understand i actually don't understand how we are letting all of this go untaxed His land literally looks like it's being affected by a fucking plague. Look at his giant house with the world's most sparse vegetation, no grass to touch. Oh my god, he's like... This is his house? Three Kenneth Copeland's plane. Oh no, you caught like me! I was on Kenneth Copeland's tiny plane. It's one of them tiny ones. Hallelujah. Amen. I wanted to get closer to God, folks, and everybody knows. Everybody knows! That you can't be close to God in one of the metal tubes that has demons in them. Demons. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at my eyes as I, I saw God. Now, many unfaithful, hate filled. Sacrilegious freaks will say my eyes look the way they do because I had could some copious amounts of mushrooms before I got on this flight. Well, let me tell you something. Those mushrooms were not pagan. They were getting me closer to God. They were God's own mushrooms and I was taking those mushrooms to, to know what kind of bad behavior those mushrooms would instill upon me. Kind of like that other televangelist who bought meth from his gay prostitute friend. You understand me? Any plans on playing the new world, it would be fun watching be a governor. How can you judge him for spending money he earns as he pleases? That's his right. If he wants to take his jet from vacation home to vacation home in order to get back to the ad break, that's just fine. Dude, I was on a fucking roll, dude. I literally forgot. Like, I, I, I forgot that the ad break was coming and you, I could have done such a good one. I could have done such a good ad break here. You know what I mean? You just like kind of fucked my vibes here a little bit, but Hey, it was whatever. It's okay. It is folks. It's top of the hour. Make no mistake. It's top of the hour folks, which means there's time for a 60 second ad break that falls upon us. 
by our holy Lord and Savior demigod Jeffrey Jebediah Bezos. Our very own Jesus Christ who walks upon this earth, who went all the way up to space to see God for 11 holy minutes. That's right. And I must oblige, I must abide by the rules that Jeffrey Jebediah Bezos falls and, and uh, demands I do. And I will do it lovingly with a 60 second ad break at the top of the hour. But fear not. If you'd like to no longer see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. You can do it for $5, or you can do it for free with a Twitch Prime, also given to you by Jeffrey Jebediah Bezos. That's right. Or you can use an ad block or a VPN. But here's the ad break now. It follows you around. Here it is. Amen. Hallelujah. Thing too. We invest from, uh, let's see. I don't know the exact number on last year yet, but it will run something in the neighborhood Stankies, of 20. Don't make me fucking clap your ass cheeks, Miss Giff. Okay. You know, I ban motherfuckers. You know I ban motherfuckers so easy like that, dude. I will do it. I will purge the demon from this community. The demon. The egg-shaped demon. We do not want you here, demon. Get purged. Holy Ghost, send the power down. From Earth. Son, I got banned on Twitter, and you're the only thing making me smile right now. Haters Daily, you got banned on Twitter. What the fuck happened? Folks, Miskiff runs more ads in one hour than you do the entire stream. I know. That's why it's funny when he comes in here and says, you run so many ads. $25 million in the poor. Can't do that and be broke. So final question you know, is, a lot of people maybe have a misunderstanding like then nicely. about what you do and prosperity preaching. Yeah. So the final question is this, to those yeah. critics that say that a preacher should yeah. not be living a life of luxury, Lumaid. what is your response to that? They're wrong. Uh, <laughs> dude, hey, dude, dude, I mean, come on. We got to run that back. We got to run that back. Okay. It in, works. In the pool. Has chugged can't do that and be broke so final question is a lot of people maybe have a misunderstanding then about what you do and prosperity preaching so the final question is this to those critics that say that a preacher should not be living a life of luxury what is your response to that they're wrong sigma that, grind said sigma it's mindset. a misunderstanding of the bible Let's go, that baby. Give it you, to him. go into the old covenant, do you think the Jewish people believe you should be broke? Are you saying that Jewish people what? appreciate money more than... They believe in wealth. Some people would find that offensive. No, wait a minute now. I'm not talking about some people. I'm talking about the Bible. The blessing of Abraham. He's right. You can't be you can't be offensive if you are just simply quoting the Bible. It's like the Tom Sawyer defense. Okay? I can't be I can't be caught being called a racist. I was just simply quoting Huckleberry Finn. The Bible says Jews love money, and that's all I'm doing here. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Abraham was extremely wealthy, and he had a covenant with God. Not the, it's not the Jewish blessing, it's the Abrahamic blessing. God, I get excited talking about it because I love it. And I started out deep in debt with nothing, which is another story. But anyway. So you say that it's biblical and that, that, that there's a foundation in the Bible for this. Let me close it with this. Sure. I, He's so horny, dude. 
I love talking about money. If Kenneth Copeland becomes like president, I will convert during Mega Doo Doo. If the Antichrist is real, it's definitely him. Literal demon? Oh, yeah, of course, dude. It's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven. That's out of context, my friend. That's out of context now. Don't you come in here telling me about Bible quotes. I am the righteous manifestation of God on earth. You're unironically doing good at preaching. I think I'm converting now. Oops. I, um, uh, I had to learn this like Damon, I I said, pee. from the Holy Bible Ghost and from the power. my spiritual mentor, Paul Roberts. The bot should be online and, and I, a few weeks, but no I learned it from this. him, working with him, and then we became, he was close friends until he died. And, um, and he took the same heat for believing God would prosper you that I've taken over the years. And Abraham was a very, very wealthy man. Galatians chapter 3. The sand is hot. If you belong to Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to his promise. And his promise was great wealth. The Bible also says that it's more difficult for a rich man to get into heaven than it is for a camel to get through the eye of a needle, correct? The rest of the scripture. But he said, all things are possible with God. And he said, if you study the, the Greek behind that, it's trusting in wealth. When he said that, his Nine disciples said they were astonished out of measure because they were wealthy men. They were astonished out of measure saying, how can anyone be saved? He said, all things are possible. Both of my grandfathers were preachers. They were both very poor. They lived simple, modest lives. They were extremely offended by men that made money like you do, preaching like you do. What would your response be to people that think that preachers shouldn't live this kind of a lifestyle. Folks like my, both my grandfathers. And I understand that. And I love them with all my heart. It's, it's your grandfathers that we're standing on their shoulders. They held up and they stood for it, glory to God. But when you go back to the Bible, And it's full of miracles and signs and wonders. And it's full of goodness. And it's full. He's the original Sigma mindset guy, dude. He's literally the original Sigma grindset guy. Full of meanness. It's just full of hell on earth. Those are the demons, not the people. I love the people. Again, getting back to the. Sir, thank you so much for your time What's today. Your name? Lisa Guerrero. Lisa? God bless. Father, bless Lisa today. Thank you for her grandparents. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to know her and to her team. And I pray and I believe her peace will be successful. I love it. It's just funny because, like, <clears throat> He is so Copeland heavy metal mashup. I okay. Exercise judgment right now. Because we in have the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you.
Okay, it's too much. You come down. Woo! God damn, dude. That's, uh... I'll never come down, dude. Do not come. Do not come down! 